Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today we're going to be talking about the new official Phase 4 slate, Armor Wars and the return of Justin Hammer, and the next big bad in the MCU. If you're new to the channel, or even if you've been watching for a while, make sure you subscribe because more than 96% of you guys aren't subscribed. And if you think you're subbed, double check because apparently there's a glitch where people are getting unsubscribed from certain channels. And remember that a subscription is free for you, but it really helps the channel a lot. And you can always unsub later if you want. Now let's get started. Following all the new footage, trailers, and information we got at Disney's Investors Day, we now have a new official release schedule for Phase 4. WandaVision will release on January 15, 2021, and run weekly until February 19th. Then Sony's Morbius movie will release in theaters on March 19th, and on that same day we'll get the first episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which will run weekly as well until April 23rd. Next, we're finally going to get Black Widow, which is currently going to theaters on May 7th. And shortly after, Black Widow will be Loki, which will come out sometime in May and run until June. And this makes sense because it's rumored that Loki could bring Black Widow back to life, so having the two come out at the same time would make for an awesome crossover-ish event. After Loki will be Venom Let There Be Carnage on June 25th, and What If will also run sometime from June to July, with Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings releasing alongside it on July 9th. So as you can already see, next year is going to be extremely packed with Marvel content, with less than a month in between each show and movie, and a couple of them even releasing at the same time. After Shang-Chi will be Miss Marvel, which will release sometime in fall, with The Eternals releasing in theaters on November 5th. Hawkeye will release sometime in late 2021, and lastly will be the highly anticipated Spider-Man 3 on December 17th. Moving on, Marvel is clearly open to bringing back old characters like Tim Roth's Abomination, who will appear in She-Hulk, and now possibly even Justin Hammer from Iron Man 2. It was revealed during Investor's Day that Don Cheadle would once again suit up as War Machine when the Iron Man technology falls into the wrong hands in Armor Wars. In the classic Marvel comic story, Tony Stark wages an all-out war on a gauntlet of armored villains, including Firepower, Stingray, the Crimson Dynamo, and the Titanium Man, who are powered by stolen Stark technology sold by industrialist Justin Hammer. In 2010's Iron Man 2, Hammer Industries CEO played by Sam Rockwell attempted to replicate Stark's arc reactor tech after the genius playboy goes public with his short-lived secret identity as Iron Man. When the US Air Force recruits the military contractor to upgrade and weaponize Stark's confiscated Mark II armor, Hammer creates the tank-like variable threat response battlesuit, better known as the War Machine armor, later piloted by James Rhodes. Eventually, Stark and Rhodes team up to take out an army of rogue Hammer drones, reprogrammed by Russian physicist Ivan Vanko, who betrayed his super-rich benefactor after Hammer recruited him to recreate Stark's arc reactor. Following the attack on the Stark Expo, Hammer is arrested by SHIELD super spy Natasha Romanoff. Hammer later returns in the one-shot All Hail the King, which took place after the events of 2013's Iron Man 3, where he's among the inmates of the high-security Seagate Penitentiary, housing the fake Mandarin Trevor Slattery. But by the time of Stark's sacrifice in Avengers Endgame, more than 13 years have passed since the start of Hammer's imprisonment, making it very possible that he's a free man by the time of Armor Wars. And when a fan asked Kevin Feige about bringing back forgotten characters like Hammer during a Reddit Q&A in 2019, Feige replied with, I'm not sure I'd call them forgotten characters, but I love bringing back characters people think they've seen the last of. For example, General Thunderbolt Ross and Harley Keener from Iron Man 3. And shortly after that, Sam Rockwell was asked about reprising the Justin Hammer role during his own Reddit Q&A last year, where Rockwell answered he would be happy to do it and that he's just waiting on the Avengers to give him a call. Moving on, according to Deadline, Jamie Alexander will reprise her role as Lady Sif in Thor Love and Thunder and Loki. And talking about the Loki show, Charles Murphy over at Murphy's Multiverse said yeah, that was the Council of Kings in the Loki teaser. And shortly after that, Casey Walsh, the editor-in-chief over at Geeks Worldwide, corroborated that by saying, I've been teasing this for a while, but I heard around the same time that I got the info that Alfred Molina would return as Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man 3, that Kang the Conqueror will make a brief appearance on Loki as well. And here we are. The fan then asked, do you think Kang is going to end up being the big bad for an eventual Avengers 5, or do you think it's much more complicated than just one big bad this time? And Casey replied by saying, I think it's more than just the one, and you'll get big bads for each section of the universe they're building. So it seems like Loki will set up Kang the Conqueror as the next mini big bad before we see him in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and possibly even in Avengers 5 against the Young Avengers. But according to Casey Walsh, he won't be the only one. So other movies will probably start setting up their own individual quote-unquote big bads as well, which will show up in multiple other movies instead of being defeated in just one. And lastly, a fan asked Casey Walsh is the Falcon and the Winter Soldier connected to Miss Marvel. The leaked script for Miss Marvel includes mentions of Falcon and Bucky. Is Miss Marvel an inhuman in this? And is there anything hinting at the appearance of the royal family down the line? To which he responded with the Falcon and the Winter Soldier features a virus and a power broker, which could indicate Terrigen. Miss Marvel is inhuman, and we heard early on that they were casting royals. So if Miss Marvel doesn't introduce Black Bolt and the royal family, they're definitely going to make their debut very soon. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Are you excited for a Marvel full 2021? Would you like to see Hammer return in Armor Wars? How do you think Loki will connect to Thor 4? And the Falcon and the Winter Soldier to the Inhumans and the royal family? 
If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.